When people imagine the side effects of Hamas rockets on southern Israel, most don't realize about all the lives affected and disrupted by the situation. Over the last week, many Israeli weddings and events of people residing in the south were canceled due to Operation Pillar of Defense and continuous Hamas fire on Israel. And so charitable organizations have opened their doors to couples in such distress and arranged to move their wedding, host and recreate it in central Israel instead, at no cost at all. Today we have a special wedding. Uh, a couple from the south that uh, the police canceled their wedding in the south because of the situation. Uh, this hall, he wasn't ready a few days ago. We told him if in three days we will make the hall especially for you, for your wedding, ready. These three days we called the electrician people, the air condition people, people paint the, the, the ceiling. We finished everything in three days, especially for, the, for, for them. Now the couple are very happy, they just finished the chupa and uh, we, we feel very uh, we're happy that we could help them. According to Jewish tradition, a chupa, or Jewish matrimonial ceremony, must not be cancelled no matter what the circumstances are. And so Chani and Eliyahu, who came from Netivot in southern Israel, did not cancel their wedding, but instead moved it to the city of Nebrak in central Israel. Their wedding party was celebrated in a religious Orthodox style in which it is customary for men and women to dance separately. Because of all the chaos and the rockets and everything, Rabbi Yosef Cohen opened this hall for us and I'd like to thank everyone for coming to make us happy. May we see each other only in happy times and may there be peace in the south and in this entire country. But it isn't so simple to relocate an entire wedding once the invitations have been sent out and all of the arrangements have been made. The bride and groom picked all of their favorite elements to make their wedding night perfect for them. And now, they had to change it all. To change the place only in two days and we keep in Shabbos, it's very hard. But, uh, you know, we try to do it. The DJ came from the south. The food we made specially over here for them. They, uh, they have uh, about 300 people, to, uh, 300, uh, people over here. I'm happy, happy, very excited. Rejoicing with a bride and groom on their wedding night is a great mitzvah, or good deed, according to Judaism. And the organizations who have put together these weddings, along with the guests who rerouted to this location, took part in realizing such a mitzvah. You had to see the parents, they came to us three days ago. They, they, was very, they were very sad, they said, what are we going to do? We have to wait now another two months to make, to make the wedding. Now. We finished the, the hall and everybody is happy, the mother is here, the parents, the, the grandparents. Tomorrow also we have over here a wedding for uh, the South people, wedding for a couple, also the police cancelled the wedding over there. Tomorrow, uh, two, day, two days from today we have another bar mitzvah and uh, we have another uh, wedding at uh, afternoon time. And we feel very happy that we could help the, this uh, people, because otherwise it, was, uh, it could be very sad. A wedding day is known to be one of the happiest moments for a man and a woman who are about to begin sharing their lives together. And when such a day is tampered with and changed due to current events and geopolitical calculations, it could indeed dampen the experience. But thanks to joint efforts, this couple managed to get their happy moment anyway. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Bnei Brak, Israel.